So hello everyone, I'm Sonja Mayo and I'm giving you another teaching tip for grunts. As you can see, I have the beautiful lady here, Lindsay. She is a teacher. She is very evidently, not really, 35 weeks pregnant. I mean, this is amazing. She's been doing Pilates throughout. Of course, we can only do with some, this with someone who has been doing Pilates. So notice how I've set her up. This is a very soft wedge and it's available from Amazon and a lot of places. This will give her the support because she cannot lie on her back. The other thing is we have to be very careful that we don't engage the rectus abdominis so she cannot lift her head. We are nervous that she might get separation of the recti, which is diastasis recti. So amazingly enough, we can keep going 35 weeks. The baby will be here soon. So she's gonna take her arm springs and we'll start off just with some pre-Pilates. She's lying comfortably. You noticed I've propped her back and she's gonna press her arms down so she'll just be pressing into the wedge, not much work, and bring it up. Her feet will be pulling towards her buttocks and buttocks towards the feet. And she presses down and she can lift up. We can do a few of those. Then we can circle the arms. That's it. Open and up. Good. So this is just cocooning the fetus. We're using the transverse abdominis, reverse. And we're using the cross abdominals but we are not letting, putting any strain on the rectus. Good. And now press your arms down and hold. And then she can lift one knee up and put it down. And then the other knee up and down. And now she's very strong, which she is. Lift one knee, change in the air, put the foot down, put the foot down, put the foot down. Very good. Down. Now she can lift both knees. She can turn out the legs a bit and she'll do the hundreds. Breathe in. And the breathing is very important at this stage. Breathe out. Breathe in. She can lift her arms a bit. Breathe out. That's it. And we'll just do one more. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. And relax and put your feet down. And now we can let the arm springs go. And we're rushing this just to show you. We'll obviously do it much more carefully and more reps. And now we can put on her leg springs for her. Excellent. Her arms can go back. And she's again just relaxing but pressing into the wedge. And legs go out 45. And they drag in. And notice the head never lifts. She's imprinting. She's using all the muscles isometrically. There is no movement actually happening in the spinal area. And you can circle and circle and then reverse. And we can do two-point frog. We can do many things here and bend your knees. And we give her frequent rests. Well, I hope.